definitely a part of the story that not many people know, which is what happened after the crucifixion. How did these people continue and built the church and what hardships they encountered along the way. All these characters are shown in a, in a very personal, very sort of three-dimensional way, which is very exciting for audiences today. And also, it's very epic. It reminds a little bit of Gladiator or Game of Thrones, you know, it's that scale. I think with Mark and Roma, the love they have for this project, it became infectious. This story means so much to so many million Americans and so many millions around the world, and we understood that we had that responsibility. But because the scripts were so beautifully textured and all the characters were so wonderfully rounded. I personally feel that we've done the story justice. I think there's a certain amount of historical truth, there's a certain amount of biblical truth, but there's a lot of artistic license that we can take, particularly in my character, because we sort of know less about Caiaphas. So it was great to put flesh onto, onto a character who uh, is, is sort of more shadowy in, in many representations. It gets very hot in Morocco and it also gets very cold as well because we shot for six months. We started with summer ending and it was flies and my character wears armor a lot and so the flies would get under your armor and you could never get comfortable. In the summer it's like you're wearing an oven and then in the winter it's like you're wearing a fridge. Um, <laughs> well, I live in the north of England so there's never a perfect summer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Richard Coyle. I'm Juan Pablo Dipache. I'm Vincent Regan. We're from, We're from AD, AD and, and you're, you're watching, watching TV, TV Insider. Insider.